Hi, my name is Mike Wilch. Today we are going to be looking at how to set post batches on release. In this video, we will talk about how to set post batches on release for general ledger, accounts payable, and accounts receivable batches, and what effect this has. To set post batches on release in Dynamics SL, you will go to Financials, General Ledger, GL Setup. In this screen, there is a drop down for post batches on release. This is the option to determine when batches should be posted. The post transaction process causes transactions to update general ledger account balances. When it's set to disabled, the post transaction process must be run in order to update account balances. When it is set to GL only, the batches created directly in the general ledger module are posted automatically to account balances when the batch is released. When it is set to N, GL, AP, and AR, when batches are released in the general ledger, accounts payable, or accounts receivable modules, the posting process is performed automatically. Let's set it to NGL, AR, and AP, and then let's enter a batch and release it. Let's go to Accounts Payable, and Voucher and Adjustment Entry, and I have already created a voucher, but I have not released it yet, so let's pull that voucher up, and we will use this $10 voucher, set it to Release Now and finish. You'll notice an error comes up. This is because when you have post on release set, the user who is releasing the batch will also need to have access rights to the GL post transaction screen. So let's go change that setting and then try releasing another batch. To do that, I will have to log in as sysadmin. Go to administration and then access rights maintenance. Choose the user or group that you want to add access rights to the GL post transaction screen. In this case, we are going to use test. You can choose a specific company or you can choose all companies. In this case, we will do all companies. Then you will scroll down and find the screen number 01.520.00, which is the post transaction screen. We'll scroll over, and this screen needs to be at least an update access rates. So we'll click that and we will click save and then we will switch back to the test user we will once again go to financial accounts payable and voucher and adjustment entry screen and I already have another voucher that has been created but not released this one is for twenty dollars so we'll select that one Set that to release now and click finish. And you will see that we did not receive an error this time. Now let's go take a look at the GL post transaction screen to verify that this batch was posted. So go to general ledger and post transactions. And you will see there's the first batch that we did before we changed the access rights, that one did not get posted. But you do not see the second batch that we did because that batch did get posted. There are some advantages to enabling post on release and also some advantages to disabling post on release. An advantage of having this enabled would be it simplifies the data entry and processing steps. It will also allow for more up-to-date balance sheet and trial balance. An advantage to having it disabled would be you have a separation of duties. The same person would not be allowed to both release and post batches. Two separate people could be assigned these duties to help catch errors or fraud. 
This concludes the process of how to set post batches on release. I hope this video was helpful.